Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I'm going to be taking you through and teaching you how to craft the Magma Gat, the by far and large the best version of the Blunder Gat in the new map, Blood of the Dead. It is way better, in my opinion, than the Vitrolic Withering, and I think you guys will see why in just a second here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial and give you guys the quickest and easiest way to build this thing. So all you need to get started here is any version of the Blunder Gat. You can get a free Blunder Gat by doing a little trick with the Hell's Retriever. I'm going to have that down below in the description if you'd like to go ahead and check it out. But all you need is any version of it. It can be Pack-a-Punch, not Pack-a-Punch. It can be the Acid Gat. It can be the Upgraded Acid Gat. The only difference is whenever you have this and you complete this Easter Egg, if you had a Pack-a-Punch version to start with, the Magma Gat that you get out will be the Pack-a-Punch version with two shots instead of one. You don't have to Pack-a-Punch twice. So you can either do it Unpack-a-Punch and then Pack-a-Punch later, or you can go ahead and do the pack a bunch version off the bat doesn't matter but either way that's all you need once you have this you need to make your way over to the warden's house in this area of the map and then you're going to go ahead and place that gun into the fireplace now one thing that you do have to make sure that you have is you do have to be set up because basically once you place into this fireplace you cannot leave the house or else it's going to reset your progress but as you can see every single kill that you get is going to craft a soul that is going to actually go into this box as you can see there's kind of like a blue outline around the entire house all the way windows all the doors everything like that and you basically cannot leave this area and the zombies you kill outside of this will not count and you have to basically just kill as many zombies as you can in this area until all three skulls light up so eventually all three of the skulls will light up the skulls are basically a progress tracker of how many zombie souls you've collected and as you can see at this point i've already collected all of the souls i need to i'm just kind of thinning out the horde and getting ready to make the run all the way back to the spawn with the untempered blunder gap but as you can see once you finish filling up the souls all of the doorways and the windows will stop going blue all three of the skulls will be lit up with this energy and then you go up and hold square to deposit the essence you don't have an unlimited amount of time you do have a good amount of time but not an unlimited amount of time to go ahead and deposit that essence and then once you deposit the essence you quickly need to speed run this and you need to make your way to these blue flaming barrels and basically follow the exact same route i take i'm not going to speed this up at all because it is a little confusing to take the route but the next barrel is going to be up here on your left this is barrel number two and basically all you need to do is just run by because this blunder guy has been heated up and you need to keep it heated all the way over to the forge where you're actually going to forge the very like upgraded version of it there's barrel number three right there on the right and you're going to make the run all the way back into spawn now again you do have plenty of time to do this you don't need stamina up you don't need anything like that you have plenty of time to run it you but you do need to make sure to grab every single barrel that you're doing next one is up here on the left just make sure you run by that blue barrel and if you do get into a bad spot you actually do have ammo in this blunder gat that you can shoot at and kill zombies that are in front of you but again make sure you don't leave it in the fireplace too long because it will eventually disappear appear keep on running the next barrel is right at the end of the staircase just to the left make sure you hang a left there grab the next uh, barrel and then keep it on running don't throw your weapons don't do anything don't change weapons and the last barrel is right there on the right keep it in your hands the entire time because if you switch it you will lose it and then it is not over here on the table this was me figuring it out for the first time it is actually over here in this forge on the right so go ahead throw it in there you'll see the zombies come out or kind of the ghost apparitions come out and then forge this thing into the magma gat that you can actually pick up and use and it is just absolutely incredible this thing is just so so good it kind of eliminates the need to even craft the acid gat if you don't want to craft it and it's just so much better so i'm going to show you guys the actual best way to use this here because there is a big big mistake that i made whenever i first started using this basically the best way to use this gun is not shooting a zombie with it i repeat you do not want to hit a zombie directly with this at all because if you hit a zombie directly all it's going to do is it's going to slow down the zombie they're going to catch on fire and then a few seconds later they're going to blow up and only kill zombies immediately around Around it the way you want to use the magma gat is you want to shoot it on the ground and the zombies are automatically attracted to it and it will kill pretty much entire hordes if you just shoot it on the ground directly in front of you as you can see i'm on round 53 at this point it is killing zombies perfectly super super easily and all they're all attracted to it as long as i have one next to me they are all going to run straight at it now if you shoot one on the other side of the map and you're standing around you with a bunch of zombies they're not going to run toward it you you basically do have to train the zombies past it and then they will lock onto that and go there but it's really 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 easy it's only if you shoot it super far away from you the zombies will not care about it and they'll keep coming after you now the only kind of like specialty thing with this is that hellhounds and brutus will not be attracted to this thing but all you have to do to take out the hellhounds and brutus is just shoot it in their path to you so basically look at the brutus look at the hellhounds whatever you're trying to kill shoot a bullet directly on the path that they would have to run to get to you and they will die pretty much instantly as they run over it it is super super good for brutus it is amazing for hellhounds they die in just one shot and you don't even have to shoot them with 
with it, just shoot them, and then the zombies will even be attracted to it. So you can kill, like, two Brutus and an entire wave of zombies with one or two shots from this thing. It is that good. So that is about going to wrap it up for the tutorial, guys. Again, make sure you check out my channel for all the latest tutorials on Black Ops 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next